stream and I got Mega's first dark stream. Now we were gonna do Injustice 2, but what changed our your mind, I should say? Uh well, um I was going to plan to buy Dead or Alive 6 uh this upcoming week, but mm -hmm. I decided to hold out on that for other financial reasons. But I saw the Tekken Season 2 pass, it was only like thirty dollars, so I decided to pick that up and try out one of the new characters. And plus DOA and I've 6. been practicing for like a couple days. I played the beta and I liked it and I do want to pick it up, but I just just can't do it right now. Also, there's just not enough things going on that makes you that compels me to buy fighting games on launch anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna wait on that one. Plus I got MK eleven coming out, so I'm personally more interested in that. Like and... I think the next fighting game I'm going to pick up, and it got announced for Evo uh, this year in, oh. in in replacement of Smash Bros. Melee. It's Under Night in, uh, Under Night in Birth because I have a couple friends that like talk, gush about this game. And I, I don't even know what that up. is. It, it's a 2D anime fighter. Um, it's from what I've seen, it looks really good. I played it once at a convention and I had fun, and I do want to pick the game up again. I just got to see that shit go on sale. I see. That's all. I got you. Well, I'll probably get that, and then uh, not that game. Um, Samurai Showdown got announced for Evo as well, too. Yeah, and the game hasn't even come out yet. No one's played okay. it. That's one I'm definitely gonna get. So. Okay. Now we I'm gonna confirm. Question: One of those uh, viewers is that happen to be you? Yeah, probably. I have oh, okay. it set on screen because I don't think you could. I don't. I, I think the chat is broken in this game uh, it, it, on on PlayStation now. Oh, it is, huh? Yeah. Let me test. Hold on. Oh, PlayStation. If it doesn't pop up, that means the chat's still broken, and from that point forward, maybe it's best to do full oh, screen I see. chat. Well, 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 yeah, hold you on. see my test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like okay, it is working. Okay, it's working on your end. Okay, okay good. It didn't it work last working. time. It didn't work on my Resident Evil stream, so I thought for the final part, I'd just take the chat out, full screen it. Everyone preferred that, and, um, and I just read the text on the YouTube website on a computer. Okay. Right. I'm glad they brought back Armor King. Oh, yeah, every character I complain about being absent, they brought back. Hmm. Who who could they bring back for season three though, since that's most likely a possibility? Uh Ganryu June Kazama. Well she's dead in the story. And they got uh, Asuka, who's essentially June. That 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 doesn't change him from retconning bullshit. The story in Tekken's not that compelling or it is or strict on its rules. Well, it's not strict, but it's an interesting story. Damn, you have been practicing with him. Yep. Oh, Largo is here. He's oh, hey. Him what's up? Well, he's he's actually in the corner of my bedroom watching us, so that's good. Oh. That's my kid. That's your son? Yeah. Oh. They got a snow day today. He wants to play around the Tekken, so I'm going to let him do it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not much with Armored King. You know I'm a better player than this. I don't even know what I'm doing. This is like the second time I played with Armor King. You know what? This is a better game than DOA, I think, anyway. You made a better choice. Plus, I made the choice of buying the Smash uh, Season Pass myself. Oh, I don't think it's going to hit it. Nope. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just go Asuka. She is a vampire bat. <laughs> I don't watch The Walking Dead at all. Yeah, I don't either. So, return to the lobby or? Fight again. Oh, uh, same oh, oh, if, oh, wait, if wait, we wait, fight wait. again, it might... Oh, fuck. I, I, I thought if we were to fight again, you might still be playing as Armor King. Yeah, I don't want that. 
Okay. Let's see what Largo says. What does he say in the chat? He said DOA is trash. But Soul Calibur 6 is good. I don't know if it's trash per se, but it's just not compelling enough to buy right now. And plus, it's have you... More, it's, it's Dead or Alive 5, but with, like, slightly different mechanics. And the mechanics in this in 6 is way better than 5. It's just that it's not $60 right off the bat much less a fucking extra thirty dollars for a digital deluxe pass with what a couple costumes and maybe a character that was on a pre-order wall yeah I, and and also it seems like it's going it, it seems like the street fighter five problem that 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 game had at launch probably I didn't I do avoid have that friends one. Who picked up the game? Uh, Lance picked it up. Repway Bill picked it up. And what do they think? Everyone else is playing Apex Legends, which I played a little bit of it. But I'm gonna be honest. I don't think you're going to like that game much. No, I uh, won't. I guess. No, I won't. You're not. not like... If you're not a shooter fan, this ain't gonna change your mind. Nope. Not gonna play it. I got plenty to play anyway. My hair looked so blonde in that shot. Ah, damn it. I went with her default outfit. Yeah, you gotta press square. Yeah, I forgot. What do you say to this? I hate Street Fighter 5 is bad. Street Fighter 4 is good, though. Oh, I still love 4. I actually streamed 4 a couple days ago with uh, D-Bot. I, I like 5. I think 5's a solid game. I think the problem with it is... Ah, oh, shit. Bonk. <laughs> I love this finisher. Look at that. Taking it like a champ. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was so ridiculous. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he does that every time he finishes him off with that move. Oh, what the? Shit. Hey, back's a bitch. Uh, this might not get you. Oh, I didn't, wasn't sure. Ooh. Oscar. Kingdom Hearts is good, but everyone thinks it's trash. I don't know why. Uh, it, uh complicated story. Especially for Disney IP. <laughs> it is pretty complicated. But it's still got it. Telling people, you're telling people to place like 70 spinoff games before they can play Kingdom Hearts 3. That's bad storytelling. Red Boy Bill actually did a fucking video about that a couple days ago. Really? About how it's hard to get into franchises with like strict continuity standards now. And it's just, it's overload. It's, well, you know it's who like does overload. that too? Halo. Who? Halo yeah. does that. By the way, but did you like hear the every franchise does that? The wonderful reception of Anthem. Speaking of trash games, real trash games. <laughs> I don't think Kingdom Hearts Three is trash, to be honest. There are worse games out there. What is trash, though, I think, is Anthem. Bioware I has agree. fallen. Rip and pizza, Bioware. Uh, a mutual person that we that we used to be acquainted with was having high hopes for that game. Fuck him. He smokes. He smokes. And I mean it. Fuck that person. But let's not talk about them. <laughs> yeah, Negan is just basically McGill with a bat. That's why I like him so much. Yeah, Anthem sucks, though, from what I've heard. It's... Yeah, it's uh, it's not doing well. That's probably why Apex Le There's been some accusations that Apex Legends might have been pushed, might have been rushed out the door by EA, even though the game is like 
Yeah, okay, I played a little bit of it. I don't like it, but I will admit it is a solid game for the what most is? part. But they Apex. did uh, Apex Legends, yeah. And I've been trying to play it with Kamikaze from time to time, but I, which is, I'm just terrible at it. I'm terrible at shooters. I don't have fun with shooters. Ugh. I'm surprised that that For Honor game doesn't even have a battle royale mode or something like that. I would say the next battle royale game should be something like that, a melee centric one. Well, we Which, got like, the only weapons are like fucking two by fours and chains, and and you have to beat the crap out of your opponent instead of shooting them from a distance. I would totally support a battle royale like that. The mechanics are good. All right, now I saw this intro. Let's be honest, it was supposed hey, to be Night Titanfall. How's it going? Hey, Night Man. He uh, so Largux says it was supposed to be Titanfall three, which I heard that rumor too. I heard it's in development, but I don't know. I'll, well, I'll no, they're working on the drops. No, they're they're well, waiting. Uh, from what I understand, they're doing a Star Wars game too. That's supposed to oh come boy. out this year. It's just that I'm done with Star Wars video. Rooted. Yeah. Well, let's see. Well, let's see their track record. Uh, Last Jedi, and then the same year was Battlefront two. Yep. Oh, damn. I don't know what I was doing there. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Yeah. Exceptions. No, wait, that's not it. We did not finish Rogue One. No, we did not. That's a story in itself. Oh, really? Is it something you can share right now? Yeah, I can or share it. That... It happened two years sure. ago. So about two years ago, Largox and I, we went to uh, to see it, and uh, he, uh, this, we were like seven seats away from this guy, and somehow he felt us. We didn't get kicked out, but I got the other guy kicked out because my friend works at the store, but it was a confrontation, so we ended up leaving, and it was like at the final battle, so my kid never finished it. Although we, I. Damn. Oh, I think he got me because I was going for. Oh no, never mind. It didn't. Uh, it didn't register yet. I was going for a throw. Oh boy. I don't think Negan's going to be playable at Evo with the way he curses a lot. <laughs> I don't know how you fell for that. I don't get that. I don't know. It's just that Negan's more defensive than offensive. I'm better at Tekken than this. Fuck. I like Rogue One. It's better I than... thought it was okay. But Either. everyone was like praising it as like a return to, to Star Wars A New Hope. And oh. I did not see that. You know I what? Thought... My... Look at the chat. You know what my son bought on accident for 10 bucks at what? a pawn shop? Evolve. Evolve. Remember Evolve? Yeah. It's trash. Okay, I was... I was confusing that game for whatever reason with Ark Survival Evolved. Well, that's because my because a friend of mine who used to who I used to hang out with locally, he's now in North Carolina. He bought that game. And was like, oh, is he playing Evolve or is this a? But thank God it's not the same game. And he has made that mis mistake before. He bought Battleborn when Overwatch was like coming out and it was coming out hot. Do you play that? Uh, not anymore. Yeah, well, we uh, don't have... Activision Blizzard, uh, I, I mean, I'll play D Diablo 3, but I don't think I'm going to play anything from Activision recently. Yeah, um, same here. I have yeah. the same thing as Dark Screen. What, what do you have that's the same thing? What? what do you have the same thing? Battleborn didn't have it. I remember I Battleborn. About what, oh. I'm amazed you do. Yeah, maybe next time you probably should switch to the other costume. Yeah, let's do that after this best. Ooh. Gotcha. Oh. <laughs> I think this will do you in. Oh. Yeah, like I said, I haven't played Overwatch and uh, 
I think part of that is because I don't have people pushing me, and I don't think you have people pushing you. Catch my drift? Not anymore. Nope. <laughs> the Everyone's pushed me to play Final Fantasy XIV, though. You should play Final Fantasy XIV, but I won't. Well, let me ask you this. Did that same associate... No, no, this through? is a different group of people that just okay. really love Final Fantasy XIV. They're, they're cool. Okay. I'm just making sure. I'm just not a big MMO guy, and I don't know if I have the time for that anymore. Well, I'm you actually know, trying to better my I, life. I don't know if I told you this, but I dropped like 30 pounds so far. Oh, yeah, you have. Yeah, I've been losing Which is weight. good. Oh, you know what, though? With, just going back to Final Fantasy XIV real quick. What's great about it is you can play it solo. I always solo it. I always have. Yeah, I mean, if I ever do get the game, I'm just going to do more solo sessions, but I have to switch my privacy on so I don't get people bugging me to do these raid sessions or whatever they're doing. So let me get let me get a hang of this game first. Ooh, ooh. I thought you were going to hit your rage on me. I did, but you hit... It was too... Maybe I timed it wrong. I hit it, though. I did hit the rage. That probably explains that weird lag that just happened, too. Ooh. I'm not playing my normal skill set today, as you know. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's been a while. Hey, Virum, Virum Rex. Oh I don't yeah, know. there's a secret ending that implies that. Okay, we'll return to the lobby so you can switch out costumes okay. or something. There's a secret ending, and um. Uh, 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 Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh. That implies that Nomura probably has spite for Square Enix for taking them off of Final Fantasy Versus 13. Mmm. But, like, the secret ending also involves another game that Nomura worked on. What's that? That we both actually talked about a couple of weeks ago. What? During what our game? RPG discussion. What game was that? Oh, you never, you don't know that Nomura was involved with The World Ends With You? Oh, yeah, 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 I knew that, but I... I was that was thinking... like the only Nomura game we talked about, actually, in that video. Mm. Well, he's working on the 7 remake, so let's see what happens. I doubt that. I, I have a huge disdain for how Square Enix is handling their big budget titles. Uh, Square Enix they're isn't smaller, that bad. They're, they're... Yeah, there's smaller uh, stuff like Dragon Quest and, you know, the Bravely series. That's fine. And even, uh, God, what was that game? I can't even switch. Uh, Octopath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we've got but, six um, people in the stream now. Nice. But they're well, big stuff. Like, their Final Fantasy, their mainline Final Fantasies and, and Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I just don't like how they've been handling that IP well, as of late. Well, let's see what happens with 15, and then, uh... Because oh, 15, we get the... it's done. Well, no, we get one more piece of... It's not done yet, quite. I don't I don't see that winning people over. <laughs> Just one small episodic content that may last two, three hours max. It's not, gonna, I... it's not gonna change people who have a disdain for the game already. No, but you know what could change people who has a disdain for the game, which it has, is actually all the content that's come out since between this last DLC and the original release. Mm. I don't know. I, I, I From what I'm hearing, Final Fantasy VII Remake is on track, actually. So it probably won't come out. It'll probably actually come out. I don't think it'll come out this year like some people are thinking, though. Uh. I think Final Fantasy 15 is a fine game. I thought it was a solid game at release. I don't know, man. There were some things I didn't like about it. There was a lot of downtime. A lot of the side missions were boring. Hey, I'm Dino. I look like a pretty boy, but I talk like Joe Pesci. Can you get some rocks for me? And then you go and get some rocks, and then you deliver it back to him. And that's the fucking mission. I know. In a post-Witcher 3 world? Uh-uh. But to be fair, Falcom has like deeper stories with their fetch quests. I don't know about that, but yeah, you, they do. 
<laughs> well, I don't know. About, uh, no, have you played Yeez 8? Get me coconuts. Yes, that's not I much, have. That's not much deeper. I've been What's playing Yeez 8. I've been playing Yeez 8, and I feel more invested in that shit than I do with Dino. I'm sure you did, but get me coconuts or get me curtains. Dude, come on. It's just as bad. Now, I'm not going to argue Witcher 3. But, like, but, those those have, like, a purpose. You're building up your camp. You're strengthening it. Why am I still giving these boxes one reporter, dude? To What's do the payoff? Your experience? You get massive experience. So what? Oh, shit. You know, I just realized something. What? I could start another podcast like my old one with you, and it would be better. <laughs> yeah, I know, because we have this back and forth banter. Yeah, but we're but no one's a dick about it like certain people were. Oh, shit. Hey, Cypher Borg. Oh, there's oh, a lot Lord. of people. We got Matt Wheaton. What's up? We got Largo. We got who else is in here? Cypher Borg. How's it going, my man? Ah, oh, dang it. See, that's where it is. I will defend the least popular Final Fantasies, which are both apparently 13 and 15. Although some people, there are those backtrackers who now like 15 that didn't like, no, that didn't like 13 when 13 came out just to hate on 15. And when 16 comes out, there's going to be those people. You know what I yeah, mean. Yeah, I hate it. There, there, there's people like that in the Star Wars community that try to put up the prequels. I'm like, no, the prequels are still fucking terrible, guys. They're just not, <laughs> well, I don't know. They were still pretty offensive, too, because of how they handled their lore. You know, the prequels... The, the sequel trilogy is offensive because of how they're it's... handling their politics. Have you seen Alita Battle Angel yet? Oh, I see. You got oh, your game face on. Hold on, hold on. Oh. Hold on, no, 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 no. Okay. I'm reading Nightman's quote. He's got it. I don't know. You, I... Strength. Come on, Lucille. Yes! Okay, I haven't heard your old podcast, but let me guess what you mean you don't agree with me. Do you know who you are dealing with? What does that mean? Um... It, it's a it's a quote from Ren Stimpy. He's basically saying he's basically saying that's what your co-host is acting like. You're fine. It, no, fuck, not I'm, me. Oh, not yo. Okay. Well, anyone who's followed my channel, I'm gonna say this once and only once, and I know I'll probably get in trouble for it, but who gives a fuck? Fuck my old co-host. He could go fuck a knife. The end. How does one fuck a knife? But okay. Um, and I'm talking about my old podcast, not the new ones with the new one with Xander's great and you're you are great, but there you Speaking go. Of, I, I put some time into Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, and I hate to admit this, but the game's actually really, really good. I'm still reluctant to buy it because I hate the rabbits, I can't stand those little fuckers. I can't stand them either, but trust me, it's not a terrible game. Darkstream, do you talk to Nightman like? on Discord or something? Well, no, we talk on a private Steam account. I don't know if you want to join there because all they do is like to post anime loots to each other. Well, okay, no, no, no. I was just going to let you know if you could let him know what I'm talking about in detail. All right, maybe next time I'm in the chat, I'll have a, I, I'll explain to him during a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. I don't know if we should let, because it's not just him. It's Mir and Time Warp and Shadow Snake there in that group. I'm Warp I don't know still? Who else is in there? Basically, yeah, yeah. Basically, I don't some care of the if those... old guard from the EWO. Except for their leader, Steve. <laughs> yeah, who is now doing creepypasta readings now. But anyway, let Nightman know. What is the best game you ever, right. ever played, Dark? He wants to know he's oh, at... Oh, boy. Yeah. That, that's like asking a gamer what's their best game they've played. It's like, you know, asking a fat guy what their favorite pizza is. But you know what? Um, I think but you... Some, like mostly JRPGs, the Yakuza franchise. Um, old school wise, actually, I, I had shit taste during the old, during old school gaming era. But let's see, Resident Evil Two, old school Resident Evil Two, and the remake is great. My pulling unit didn't come in yesterday. It's supposed to come in today, though. I need one too. 
Dude, everyone loves Battle Angel from what I've heard. It is a pretty good film. Is it, is it, is it a great anime adaptation? It sounds like it's getting there. I have a friend, and she told me that it's pretty fucking accurate to the to the comic, the manga. manga? Yeah, I'm gonna say I do comic. Want to pick up the manga. You know what? I should say comic to the elitist weeaboos, so they can get all pissed. But that, is that not what a manga is in the end? A comic book? Yeah. Okay, I'm just a saying. I'm, a, I'm more, dude. I'm more of a manga reader than I am an anime viewer at this point. Which, by the way, that. <laughs> I am going to try to get that Gundam X video out this month. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck me sideways. Yep, gotcha. <laughs> I'm waiting. I, all those little sprites. I'm not too keen on DMC5, so I'm going to pass on that. I'm not a big Devil May Cry fan, but I hope you guys get a good game. And yeah. it looks like you will. Yup, Matt Wheaton said it. Manga's as much as comics and anime as cartoons, dude. We've got a good turnout today, man. We've got a good talkative group. Cypher Board, Largox, Matt Wheaton, Nightman. Uh-uh, not today. Yes, today. Nope, Damn it. not today. DMC. How they themselves could not see the huge overlap and how the force works according to the origin is beyond me, but yeah, they didn't know what they were doing in fucking last. Are you talking about Last Jedi or the prequels? <sighs> if Captain Phasma's armor is as laser proof as they showed it off in Last Jedi, why did she feel threatened to be at gunpoint in the previous film? Why did they market her to be like a Boba Fett level villain and then make her? By the way, I don't think highly about Boba Fett either. Oh, we got She's one. worse than that. Also, personally, <laughs> I feel you and Xander have far better chemistry than that other co-host, Magus. What do you think? You've listened to Blast Podcasting. Yeah. Do you? What it, do you think of podcast. Xander? It's I, I will admit, Xander propping up Mario Rabbits was what, what convinced me to pick the game up on sale. See, I can't do it. I just hate the fucking... But no, do you think we have better chemistry, though? Yes. Though, I do... I, I, I do I do miss the uh, old back and forth. Um, Xander seems more like a really nice guy. I don't know if you can actually get him to be on my level and like have a back and forth like we did just recently about side mm -hmm. quests in Final Fantasy XV. Mm-hmm. Nah, Xander. No, but it's a, you gotta understand. It's a different kind of chemistry, though. Yeah, I know. And it's it works for the show because the one thing that, you, as much as I don't want to talk about it, that happened in the old show, there was no dead air. There's no dead air in this show, either. So, I know mean, it's easy to edit out dead air too. I mean, I did it on our Office Space blog. Oh yeah. That time when the. Uh, Art's video, uh, Art's uh, audio went out. I actually managed to like edit all that out, and it felt seamless. My favorite game is GTA Five because you can do stupid crap. I hate the Saints Row games. Those for those that I don't like... know, um, yeah. Just to let you know, Largox is in the same room I am. He, you, some of you old fans may know him as Magus X Two. So just leaving it at that. Oh, she's nuts. You know, I haven't really been trying. I would like to have a couple mat. I would like to have a few matches when the stream's not going on, because I'm really... You know I play better than this. Yeah, I know. Yeah, see, I'm not really... I have been <laughs> practicing more recently. There we go. Not to mention you and Xander have the same taste in video games, anime, comics, movies, like I do. Yeah, we... Yeah, you, you seem on board Ooh. with a lot of what we got to say on the podcast. 
We have another. I think we have another episode coming out this week. I'm not too sure. I hope so. Can you can you share what's what the theme is on on the upcoming episode? Um, Xander gave a clue. I'll give the same clue. It's a pretty obvious clue. Head chala, head oh, chala. I... <laughs> <sighs> I hope it's not. Oh shit. I hope it's not strictly Dragon Ball. Cause um. What? I'm just not in the mood to talk about mostly Funimation stuff right now because of the controversy that's going on. You know, Cypherborg, um, on the on the DOA season pass, I think it's kind of shitty. I'm not. I'm actually. Um, I think. There we go. That's what. I think the thing is, is uh. Your thoughts on DOA six? I, I'm not gonna buy DOA six for a long time. It just I Same. have better games, and I have like I have Soul Calibur six, and I'll probably get MK. And if you look at its customization system compared to Tekken and this game, it's just shit. He Matt Wheaton says I know what you're talking about. Naruto also, eight Trails says of that Cold Steel it comes out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy that at the end of March. Naruto yeah, eight says the... that he gives a. Thumbs up to it. I hope you like it better than my last podcast, Naruto Ace. And as I said, fuck that show and fuck that co-host. Matt Wheaton says also you and Xander should be talking giant robots too. That would be a great subject to talk about. Fuck yeah. I tune the funny yeah. drama out and enjoy Index 3. I don't know what the funny drama is. Well, Team Ninja has been doing similar things to Ninja Gaiden, but to a lesser degree. What are they? Okay, so what's... I don't know. Let's back up a second. Okay. Fun a drama. What's fun a drama? Oh, I don't know what okay, that is. Okay, okay. Vic Mignagna, or however you say his name, you may know him as the voice of Junpei from Persona 3. Yeah. Well, for 10 years, there have been rumors about how his behavior at a convention's been going and that he might have done some uh, not so spectacular things. I've heard about these before. Well, I've heard he's a dick. He... I've heard he's a dick. I have well, heard. Because because of the Broly movie that came out, which, by the way, is fucking amazing, and they actually fixed that fucking retard character, um, those rumors got resurged, and even some of his co-workers are calling him out about it. And before, well, they, well, Funimation said they did an investigation now, but before that, you know, before they could get any solid concrete evidence, he got kicked out of Funimation, and he got kicked out of Rooster Teeth. But, Vic responded... Vic responded by lawyering up, and that's where we are in the story now. Oh, he's getting a lawyer? Yep. Ooh. You know, I'll talk about this in a second. Let me answer Matt Wheaton's first question. Um, Damon X Machina looks pretty cool. I'll probably get it. I'm just saying that the costumes were already starting emergent earlier game. Yeah, that's. I'm just not. I'm just not happy with the OA6 right now. That's just me. Um, I'm more on the fence with the whole Vic McNogna thing. You know, it's funny. I watched that Michael Jackson special last night. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, like the R. Kelly one I buy, the, the Michael Jackson one I'm a little bit on the fence with myself. And here's why. I'm not saying Motherfucker was a weirdo or anything. But what I'm saying is, is why are you coming out now about this? And because he's been dead for a decade. Yeah, and then is it because of Me Too? And yet Me Too is almost two years old. Let's also argue that point. And is it... And is it... I, I just don't understand it. I don't understand why now. And those guys seem pretty sincere. Not going to backtrack them or anything. But the problem with it is why now? And why did you defend him? Of course they say it was because of fear. So that could be a possibility. But it just... I don't know. Oh, damn, you got me. Ugh. I don't know. I'm trying to get Ultima Weapon for KH3. Has anyone gotten uh, KH3 for uh, the Ultima Weapon yet? Who's played it? Not you, Darkstream. No, but that's. Obviously. But going back to what Matt Wheaton says, that's why I said what I said, because I don't know. Oh, uh, fuck me. Okay, let's do this. Bloodborne is good uh. too. Largox says yes. I agree. Hunter. 
No! <laughs> that was a shitty finish. <laughs> In wrestling, that would be a terrible finish. It would be. Speaking of wrestling, I saw the Gookers this, uh, this, uh, for 2018. They're basically like the Razzies for the internet wrestling community. Mm hmm Apparently, the worst thing that got nominated was this Saudi Arabia, um, right. event that they did called the oh, Crown shit. Jewel or something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that got the nomination. Okay. So... I'm going to go back to a topic real quick, Darkstream, about my former podcast. This will I talked about it. I actually wasn't planning on talking about it, but this will probably be the last time I talk about it on public. I'll just say one last time, fuck that podcast, fuck that host, and fuck everything. And I'm never doing anything with that person again. Darkstream, though, you're my new right-hand man, okay? Well, you should have been my right-hand man. You and Xander. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. That was weird. Oh, boy. No spoilers, oh. Largox. No spoilers. And I'm not telling him through the chat. I'm telling him through, uh... You know, M Largox, Ooh. for those that don't know, he's Magus X2. I probably have said that. Um... Uh, I he... don't think the Iron Sheik showed up <laughs> in the event, Matt Wheaton. Well, that would have been awesome if, it did, if he did. He, I think he died. Oh, he... I would have known it by now because uh, Big Al would have fucking made a story about it. He would have made a video about it. Naruto Ace, everyone. No, Gene Oakland died. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Hold on, Nar Naruto Ace says anyone interested on in the Power Rangers fighting game? I wasn't aware there was a Power Rangers fighting game. It, it, it looked like it, it looked like a rework MOBA game. Oh, it looked like one of those. It, it looked like that cell phone game that had like the Ryu Ranger crossover thing from Street Fighter. I mean, it's only 20 bucks, and I think it's going to be on the Switch, so I don't know, maybe. I thought he if died like really drunk long. and stupid with my money. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to switch up characters. I think I've established Negan superiority at this point. Well, I haven't really tried. Well, I don't think the Iron Sheik died. I just thought he did. I mix him up with, uh, with a couple of those similar themed, in politically correct. Wrestlers. Oh man. But yeah, like how many fucking wrestlers in the, from the eighties are even alive? There's Hogan, there's Sergeant Slaughter, who else? A bunch of them. <laughs> then, then the following day, a bunch of wrestlers died. <laughs> and I guess you were uh, wrong. Oh uh, yeah? Yeah, Power Rangers is still a thing. There's a there's a there's an adaptation from Go Buster, which was a Super Sentai show from like seven years ago. Um, God, what was it? Uh, I don't know what the new Power Rangers show is, but it's the one that's being overlooked by Hasbro instead of Saban now. Yeah. And I heard the pilot episode, heard great things about it, which is good because I heard, um, I heard Go Busters was terrible, the original show, so they're actually making a better version. Except Samurai. I hate Power Rangers. I hate Except Samurai. Yes, I know you love Samurai. I have to endure many hours of that. I hated Samurai. Why? Uh, it was going back to the roots of Saban's Power Rangers, which is not good because I thought... See, Power Rangers actually evolved over time. Past the Mind Morphin, where the shows like Space, Galaxy, Lightspeed, Ra Rescue were actually better. Yeah, I like, do they were still kind of campy, but they were trying to tell deep, serious stories. Like the whole Titanium Ranger backstory. I Justin thought that was Wa amazing. Justin Wog is in charge of balancing the Power Rangers fighting game. That's crazy, but okay. Well, you, you, you can't... You can't underestimate <laughs> Justin Wong. Him or Daigo. I how to do my Rage Art. Shit, it's been a while since I played as this character. Okay, what is it? Uh, her rage are involves kicks, right? Nope. 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 What? How? Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I didn't look at the fucking loading screen. Oh. Ow.
RPM uh, was amazing. RPM was very interesting because they basically turned Power Rangers into Terminator. Yeah, they had a post-apocalyptic story arc involving a computer virus that sicked robots on the world. What? Yeah. I guess I'm the only one who does not give a fuck about that much about Power Rangers. I'll watch some Sentai shows, but that's about as far as it goes. Worst Power Rangers, Mega Force and Super Mega Force. That was, I could see that being painfully disappointing. It's supposed to be like a big anniversary event, and I heard they didn't do much. It's not like um, a Go Kaiser, the Sentai counterpart, which is basically Power Rangers with Space Pirates, and you know how I feel about them Space Pirates. But what I liked about Go Kaiser is that all the Rangers can actually transform into previous incarnations of other Super Sentai guys if they oh. have the key with them. It was pretty cool. That's why I love the show so damn much. Oh boy. Go Sager, I don't know. Which one is Go Sager? Go Sager, I believe it was like an angel themed one. It came before Go Kaiser. There was oh, okay. a crossover event between Go Kaiser and Go Sager. That had the 199 hero battle event. I gotcha. Which every Super Sentai was like fighting a big alien force at the time. Ready for the next battle, 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 battle. Okay, how do you do it this time? It's good to have a lot of people in here. Naruto, okay, Ace, Nightmare. Okay, you just press the two kicks neutral. Gotcha. Naruto, Ace, Matt Wheaton, Largox. It's the angels with the card gimmick. Oh, okay. I actually do have me a couple of Sentai action figures. <laughs> One of Kamen Rider Abyss. He was from Decade. It's a shark-themed Kamen Rider. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I call him Kamen Rider Sharknado. Anyone watch Garo? What's Garo? Uh, it's another, it's another um, Tokusatsu show like Power Rangers and stuff. You still Except talk I to Samuel? It's... You know, I haven't what? talked to him, but the only reason I haven't talked to him is because I'm not on Facebook anymore, and that's the only place where he and I talk. Since he's gotten into uh, New Mexico politics, he's more focused on that. Um, last that I talked to him was probably when I did that video on when Helsing passed away, so... I haven't... I've talked... I haven't talked to Samuel to Geek even longer. I watch yeah. his content whenever he uploads. He doesn't upload he uploads. much, though. He doesn't, but I still catch a video when he does. Yeah, I'm pretty much friendly with most old guys from those days. Um, just the aforementioned person I mentioned earlier, but that's it, really. Ooh. What is Power Ooh. Rangers Shattered Grid? Is that what the new show is? Uh, is that what the new uh, Super Sentai? He said he asked if he read it. Yeah, he, he read it. Oh, it's read it. No. Largox has a question for everyone in the chat. Favorite TV show you watched as a kid? Um. Ooh. Well, I was a cartoon kid at the time, and yeah, Power Rangers and Power Rangers was one of those shows I watched when I was a kid. Um, let's see, that's a tough one. Animaniacs, X-Men. Yes, I know he used to watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse back in the day. He used to. Shattered Grig is the comic of see, I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> me I think either. mask the mask intro. It still gives me good vibes. Yes, the mask intro is cool. Beast Morphers is the new season. Oh. Oh, okay.
Yeah, I used to watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse when he was like four. Now that Largox, mind you, Largox, for those that don't know, is my son, and he's now 13. So that's why he's talking on the level you guys are. He's probably as old as Nightman when I met him. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, Nightman was young. How old were you back in those days a decade ago? I was 20. I was a college student at the time. Batman the Animated... Yep, you were. Animated Series was my shit. Actually, Batman, you... Batman, Batman. I would argue that... I think I would argue that you were... That I met you before you went into go, to college. Tra minus no, transform. No, I, oh, go ahead. No, man. I was I was in my uh, second year uh, oh. when I started paying attention to you guys. Okay. I thought you were not in college quite yet. Mine is Transformers no. all the days of the... Shit. I missed a lot of Matt Wheaton's. But I did enjoy Sam Saturday Anime on the Sci-Fi Channel. Okay, did I map my two kicks as, as a button? Okay. One of my favorite shows back then. I didn't even know it was a toy commercial. What show was that that was a toy commercial? I think I missed it because the chat's going by pretty quick. Yeah. I actually did get a solid turnout. Um, toy commercials. You know, I thought the Ghostbusters films were an adaptation of the cartoon when I was a kid. Oh, that, yeah, people forget that there was a cartoon called Ghostbusters before the movie. Well, no, no, I mean the real Ghostbusters. Oh, shit, I think I fucked up. Nope. <coughs> go, Ooh. there we go. Mask is Cypher Borgs. Yep, okay, Mask. Mask is great, though, man. That theme song, holy shit. Does anyone remember in Humanoids? Holy shit, what a fucked up show that was. I remember the Street Fighter Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was... I remember, I remember Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Realm, which had which... major actors like Clancy Brown... Ron Perlman as Curtis what? Stryker and what? frickin' Luke Perry as Sub Zero. Who, who? Yes, let's talk about this. Away. About an hour ago, Luke Perry passed away. Yeah, wasn't he in the? You know what though? His last film is the upcoming Tarantino movie. Huh. Well, uh, name one of your favorite toys as a kid. Believe it or not. I don't know if anyone's heard about that recent SSSS Gridman anime that came out last year. No. Well, it's actually an anime adaptation of an old tokushatsu show called Gridman, which made it to the States as Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. I remember that, yeah. That was back in the day. I used to watch that cartoon before I go to school when I was a kid. That was my jam at the time. And for Christmas, I actually got a couple of the toys. Huh. Including like a like a foot long figure of uh, Gridman slash what uh, the the Cyber Squad dude. I don't even know what his name was. I think it was Gridman still. I don't know. Well, mine was a so giant was... Volt Voltron. But if you want to get technical, had a giant be go was a Beast King Go Lion figure. <laughs> nice. Yeah, big old huge one. Vampire D is good. New, I heard the new Voltron anime was really, really good. Yes, folks, I have been showing my youngster for the last couple of years animes, and he likes Vampire D. I showed him the OG one. Wow. Some, yeah. Your, your, uh, your bicycle glitched down in that intro. Oh, it did? Yeah, it was like jumping all over the place. But am I not doing a good job by showing such classics as Vampire D? Yeah, uh, is great. I still need to watch it. You've never See, seen this it. This is the reason. No, I well, wait. Some clips. I. Have you seen either film? Nope. You I haven't seen that or Bloodlust. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I need to. See, this is one of the reasons why I don't keep up with modern anime, even though everyone's like, "Oh, you need to watch a uh, Shield Hero." It's like, there are a bunch of fucking old-school classics that the old guard keep telling me are <laughs> to see. Such as Royal Space Force Rings of Onias. Yeah, that's a good one. But I haven't no. seen that one, 
Yeah, you don't need to see Shield, whatever. You need to see Vampire D. And did you see Vampire yeah, exactly. D Bloodlust? Did you see Bloodlust, and the I second film? I told you no. You, I think I oh, saw like a clip of it. Okay, Darkstream, here's what you do. Go to my channel, and this is for everyone. And I've compiled a list of all the classic anime movies on YouTube that I can find. Well, not all of them, but a good chunk of them. I have stuff like Demon City, Shinjuku, or 8 Men After. But yeah, I have a list of like 40 movies, classic anime films, on goddamn YouTube. 8 Men After was probably the first adult anime I've seen. Okay, you've seen 8 Men After. Yeah, it was like okay. a long ass time ago, but yes, I have. Okay. But yeah, a lot of these are on YouTube because they don't have any licenses and shit. That's depressing, though. What? That they never bothered to reserve it. I don't know. Let's hope Discotech Media picks it up or something. Well, they're the ones who seem to care about old school anime. Yeah, that's that's why I love them so much. Ooh. Yeah, you got me. But yeah, what I was going to say was you should really check out that list. And uh, I even put the... Because uh, my friend, she told me about the uh, Battle Angel stuff. <clears throat> uh, those are on there, too. I wonder if MD Guys is on there. I think it is. I have that list. The older Godzilla movies and Gargantuas are really great nostalgic memories for me. Those are great movies. Um, Largox, I know you love your Yu Yu Hakusho. He's seen the I whole series. I did see Akira. I did see Ghost in Shell. Okay, those are... Yeah, but I put more obscure stuff on that list. Although I love Akira and I love Ghost in the Shell. I did see uh, Street Fighter 2, the animated movie. Okay. That's on my list. I think it's fair list. to put it on that list because it's that good. Yeah, it's on the list. It's oh, on there. Akira. I have it's both versions. the best martial arts movie I've seen. <laughs> I have both versions actually on there too. I have the, the uh, Japanese version and I have the uh, corn version. <laughs> I need to get the Blu-ray of that... Uh... Of that movie. Mm hmm. Exactly. It's mine too. Akira is my favorite movie, period. Let's see. What else? I you never. You, hold on. I'm calling Largox out. You never watched Akira. You've always refused. He I would know. know. He's your father. Yeah. <laughs> That's like uh -huh. me going, oh yeah, I love The Great Escape, and my dad be like, you only saw like 10 minutes of it, you dropped it. And I'm like, it's a three-hour film, Dad. Uh -huh. Believe me, it sounds like a great movie on pen and paper, and I would love it if I had more time to sit on my ass and watch a film for three hours. You know what's funny, Matt? I can't Matt? even watch two and a half hours films anymore. Yeah, it's tough, but movies are... I don't know, are movies getting shorter or longer? They're getting longer. Okay, like, so it used to be 90 minutes to two hours. Now it's two hours to two and a half. Let's talk about this. Street Fighter, and the anime. I don't even. Oh, oh, I was about to say, I don't even care about Captain Marvel. Oh, I... without the bullshit behind it. I don't care about Marvel. <laughs> so there you go. Probably going to see Avengers Endgame, and that's going to be it. I'm not even going to far from home. You can't. You can't show me that movie after Spider uh, Into the Spider Verse. Oh, that movie! Was, you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I think this is the year that the Marvel movie craze is gonna kind of slow down a little bit. I hope so, cause those are films the theater liking, but then you kind of forget about it after two weeks, or you start to notice how flawed it really is. And I you mean, know you'll what? still like it, but it's not this masterpiece you thought it was. And let me argue something else. You know what movie people still talk about? A lot. What? Did I see? No. Batman v Superman. People talk about that. But does anyone... Let me argue this. Does anyone talk about Civil War that came out that year? Nope. It's the new thing from Marvel. So the problem that Marvel does is that they make you forget their movies by releasing new ones. Well, nobody talks about the best film of 1999, I guess, but people still talk about Freddy Got Fingered. That doesn't make it a good movie. No, 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 no. <laughs> What's the best film of 1999? I don't know. No, the Matrix? People still talk about that? No, I was talking about what won the Oscar. 
Hey, oh. It wasn't the Matrix, I know that much. Oh no, it was the geek Cyber culture? House rules, I think. Please. There was no geek culture back then. No, there wasn't. Now it's all over the place and it's no longer our thing. Okay, I'll argue there was geek culture, but it was more niche and subdued. And now it's it's like here's the thing, the 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 mainstream nerd like street things and you're a nerd. This is how stupid it is to be. You like Marvel, you like Star Wars, and you like some sort of board game. That's pretty much what makes you a nerd these days. Yeah. But, you know, I have a friend who's saying she's into anime now. I was like, oh, what anime you like? And she listed off the most mainstream boring shit ever. Give me an example. Uh, Dragon Ball, Naruto, My Hero Academia, that new, uh, what, what, what the hell is that new? Black Clover. Um, yeah, boring shit that I wouldn't care about. Like, talk yeah. to me when you know what Genshiken is. Yeah. Or Gundam Unicorn. <laughs> I'll accept Unicorn. I'm not a hardcore fan. Fans don't care for it much, but I liked it. Best film I tried to make a Mardi Gras. I tried to make a Mardi Gras colored Gundam Unicorn. I ended up accidentally painting it to look like Ava Unit One from Evangelion. Oh shit! <laughs> and Razor Fist can leak my hairy weeb taint. What What is he talking about with the Matrix? I I think the Matrix is awesome. Uh, the Matrix is yeah, Matrix is a pretty damn good movie. The first one at least. Fuck the sequels, but yeah, it's it's still a great movie. Okay, Largo says, How about Fairy Tale? It is good. We watched it in art class. Uh that's awesome that you watch it in art class, but uh, it what? still seems like same shonen stuff. Eh. But he likes it. Yeah, I love Gundam I'm more of a, I, I'm more of a Negima person, but I can't recommend that to anyone. Yeah, you can't. You really can't. <laughs> No, I can't. That shit dies for me sometimes. You too, can't really recommend Ikitosin. Well, I can't do that either. <laughs> I will admit it's a tr it's a trashy show, but I enjoy it, and at least I... the fight scenes in the latter seasons are actually entertaining to watch. I, I can't do Ikitosin, man. Fuck. First season was so bad. Oh, we're fighting in the Hammerhead Station. Awesome. Major Fist said that, and I quote: "The Matrix ruined action movies forever." Unquote. What? How did they ruin? No, I think I think Transformers ruined action movies more because they were the ones that like pushed the shaky cam action shot shit, and because it made money, people uh, more comic book films starting to do that more. Granted, well, they do it a little bit better than the Transformers films, but I still don't like it. Well, have you seen that? And, and this year in particular, have you seen that we've gotten sort of a return to the '80s action film? Uh. Oh boy. I thought I got you. I thought you did too. How about Sword Art Online? Yeah, he likes Sword Art Online. We would not get along, Lord guys. <laughs> I do not like Are you really going to be an elitist to a fucking 13 year old? Oh, I'm not saying he has terrible <laughs> taste. I'm just saying, keep in mind the stuff that I like. I you like some pretty bad shit. No, yeah, you know the, it. the stuff that I like, an older anime fan would be like, uh, no. Like, for example, I said, you know what? I did enjoy Dragon Ball Z. And they'll be all like, well, it's still no Fissa nor Star. Hold Trust on, me, hold I on, get hold that on. a lot from a bunch of well, older guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How can they even say that, though? That argument makes, makes no sense. Let me. Can I tell you why? Why? Because Dragon Ball is about as old as Fissa nor Star. So how does that argument make sense? I don't know, they probably saw it before, and Dragon Ball didn't really get mainstream intense until the early 2000s in, in the Western world. Despite it being existent since the 80s. Yeah, I've been watching High Score Girl, and it's fucking good. I like that show. Oh, yes, finally! <laughs> you like it too. It's stupid. In fact, yes, we're going to watch do. it after this. It, no, no. I, I don't want to watch it. It's too stupid. You liked it. He liked it. He just doesn't want to admit it. I don't know why everyone likes it. It's stupid. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> it's not stupid. It's stupid. I heard all that. <laughs> I can't believe you played these games with freaking sprites, it, it, Dad. 
1991 must have been a terrible year if you're a gamer. It wasn't really. A... <laughs> we had this game. Oh, you know what? Well, I'll talk about from 1991. Battletoads. Fuck that game, though. It, re it made me feel stupid. But it really wasn't my fault I learned years later. Battletoads is trash. <laughs> it's just a really know... bad game design. You know, the first three levels are fucking amazing. The first two and a half levels, excuse me, until you get to that bike level shit. I think I'll stick with River City Ransom. I hate the Speaking of, there's a Kunio Kun collection coming out. I don't know when, though. Yeah, I know. You, we, we, that'll be. You well, know, if it comes out on the Switch, I'm definitely getting it there. Well, let's be honest. River City Ransom is probably the better game. But if you look at Battletoads, uh, what was it, uh, two and a half, two and a half uh, levels, they're actually pretty inventive and pretty creative, for, especially for its time. It was, until you get to that jet ski shit, that bike shit. That ruined it for the game. Tim, TMNT for the NES is better. The first one, yeah. The second one, based on the arcade game, I actually liked. Yeah, that one's good. So is the third one. Battletoads being Xbox exclusive, um, Cypherboard, I don't know, I'm not, I'm still not gonna get an Xbox One. Same here. You know, with, Obsidian's, I have- uh, Even though they have Obsidian now, and Obsidian's pretty Actually, much the new Bioware. I don't know, you or could argue CD Projekt. Well, CD Projekt Red, um, uh, God, uh, Obsidian and, uh, Oh, uh, God. Uh, 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 the guys who Larian did... Larian um, Studios. The yeah, guy yeah, who yeah, did, yeah. The guys who did Divinity. Those, yeah, are, those gonna... are like modern Bioware stuff. Speaking of RPGs, Pillars of Eternity 2? Coming to Switch this May. I'll probably get that. I'm going to get... I'm definitely... I'm getting the Switch version. Well, because it, it runs on the Unity engine. Because, and Unity engine is just... Eh. That, and it looks like a game that's more comfortable to play if you're sitting on the couch looking at a small screen. Gonna be a lot of text and shit. I thought CD Projekt Red was the new bio. I'll argue they are the new. Yeah. We got a bunch of Bioware clones that are coming out there doing better than the OG Bioware. Let's say that much. Yeah. Not, I learned something while watching. that's a bad thing, and I botched it. I learned something uh, like watching high school, high school girl like throw jank and alchemy. Yeah, I remember. In Final Fight, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. How many episodes How many episodes did you get in? Okay, Fist of the North Star is not bad. You're banned from the stream. <laughs> Fist of the North Star is bad. No, it's not. You never okay, even uh, watched it. Yeah. Well, no, no. I hate the... The deaths in the game are funny, but they're stupid. But yeah, let's talk about this for a second, because Matt Wheat's talking about Cyberpunk 2077. Why does Anthem suck? What have you heard, Darkstream? Okay, it's basically the same reasons as Destiny, and it's it's a problem with these quote-unquote loot shooters, or schluters, as Wooly likes to call them now. It's just that the game comes out full price, but there's barely any content in it that barely justifies it as a $20 game. Uh, I've seen some of the gameplay, and it looks like a clusterfuck because there's a bunch of like there's there's a bunch of explosions and special effects going off because you can have abilities and stuff, but it makes it look like a mess. Load times, even on hardcore PC settings, is abysmal. Um, the story is nothing fantastic to write home to. Or that's why I heard from Silent Rob. Hold on, um, Matt Wheaton, don't you say fucking thing because I usually I like you, but I'll boot you out of the fucking chat. Don't you fucking say anything. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Darkstream, if he says one more thing, he's being booted. That, you don't cross a fucking line with me. I made that clear, did I not, Matt Wheaton? I suggest you erase your fucking... Erase that comment. That's one line you don't cross. Darkstream knows that, right? Right. Did he cross it? Mm. Yeah. You kind of put me in an awkward position here, dude. But okay, I get it though. You're dead, and I'm getting punished. Ow! 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 
Matt Whedon, okay. you better watch what you say when it comes to him. I'll take any other shit, but you better watch it. Fucked. Delete that comment. I don't want to fucking see it. Oh, he, oh, he, he already retracted it. Okay, so where was I? Oh yeah, Anthem just sucks. No, I, 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 you, you better be sorry. Don't you fucking say it again. That fucking shit pisses me off. You ruined the stream. Thanks, buddy. Uh-oh. Fuck. And that goes for anyone. You ever cross that line with me? I'll fucking make sure that you don't say it again. Anybody. You know, I'm not mad at you, Darkstream. It's fine. I want that comment fucking deleted now. Okay, it, they, it probably didn't delete it off of the PlayStation window, but he did remove it on YouTube. I can, I can clarify that. I don't know if you could do that on PlayStation. No, but that shit gets me hot. And I'm warning any of you, you cross that line, I'm giving this one warning because Matt Wheaton's a loyal guy, so I'll give him a pass this time. But anyone cross that line, I'll block your ass and I will remove you. So, did anyone notice that when Magus was getting heated up, he actually won a fucking match? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Just point that out there. <laughs> okay. Well, it's okay. He already deleted the comment. Don't worry about it. Now, back to Anthem. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it just feels like an incomplete One, one nice. more thing, Matt. We, you know, I'm only giving you a pass because you're usually a cool guy, and I've never... This is the first time I've ever had any problems with you, but I'm warning you. Do it again. You're done. I don't care. I... So, you know, you know what's funny too. I had an argument with the the person I mentioned considering that too. That's another reason why I cut ties. Ooh. You know who? Former podcast partner. Hey, Shane, how's it going? Uh yeah, I'm going back to Negan. You're going back to Negan? Okay. Yep. I just I just really love that bad of his. But yeah, Cyberpunk 2077, um, CD Projekt yeah, did confirm that they're going to be at E3 this year. And, so. and one last thing I'm going to say on the matter. Sorry, Darkstream. The other thing okay. is we were all pretty basic when we were 13 years old. Let's be honest. Were we not, Darkstream? Yeah, we were. Where did, where, where did that trailer come from? All right, we're done. All right, good. I'll tell you, I was a pretty boring fucking 13-year-old. I had, you know, my taste in games weren't fully developed till about a year later. Same here, but my taste in anime were far more developed than everyone else's. How so? I actually supported the industry and bought DVDs, and I picked up some weird, interesting stuff from ADV including Evangelion, which nobody fucking watched in my group of friends. They were all like, oh, isn't, isn't Naruto awesome? Shin, and then I'm Shin. watching Naruto, I'm like, no, it's not. No, it fucking isn't. It's fine, Matt Wheaton. It's over. Just don't do it again. Shin, where did it come from? You walked in at the best. Shin came in at the wrong moment. <laughs> he did. <laughs> it, 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 it's cool. It's just a golden rule in this chat. Don't. You can rip on us all you want. Do not rip into his kid. That's all. Fuck, I'm so heated. I'm so tempted to rip certain people that I shouldn't. I've said enough today, huh, about that person. Yeah. Don't you think? Fuck. I'm so hot that I really want to rip into oh. him. I think everyone knows who I'm talking about anyway. That's why, uh... That's why I no longer uh, take a back shit in my uh, log cabin. So there you go. All right. Anyway, so. Uh, oh, okay. No, no, I'm not even talking about you, Matt Wheaton. I'm talking about not taking a bat shit in my log cabin. If you catch my meaning. Who? <sighs> <sighs> Oh, delete that. 
Games and me. Fuck, he brought up game. Of course. Let's not bring that up either. Because <laughs> that's really related. Black and silver diamond. Sup, fuckers. What's up, fucker? <laughs> I'm just saying it back. Oh, I'm heated up, Darkstream. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. Sup, fuckers. Fookers, black and silver diamond said. You can come back into the room. He apologized to you. I don't... Okay. People who are probably singing. It's fine, Matt Wheaton. It's over. I'm now. I just wanna. I wanna attack someone else, but I'm not. Not you. Darkstream knows who, but I won't. I will attack Darkstream though in the game, right? Yeah. Who's watching Captain Marvel? Not me. Not me. Fuck that movie. Who's this? Lucky Chloe. Lucky Chloe. You made her hot. Yeah. No cat ears. She doesn't have cat ears on. Shout out Chungus. Who's shout out Chungus? Uh, Big Chungus. It's a meme. Hey, what's speaking of memes, what's the whole story of the Momo thing? I don't know. Apparently, parents found out about just now and got paranoid or something. You're, you're talking to a guy who doesn't pay who doesn't pay as much attention to memes either, so... Well, have you noticed I don't really pay attention? As you notice, I really don't pay attention to anything. Well, I only pay attention to like a quarter of what's going on. Fuck. I don't even pay attention to a quarter if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Memes are the <gasps> devil's work. <sighs> Well, it's nice to have Axel Sasor, Rosas, hmm. How long have I known you, Axel Sasor? Momo is a Japanese meme where a Japanese woman has a scary nightmare feel face, and there is a store BS story about it. Not to mention Carol Danvers is poor bitch's Black Widow. You know, Carol Danvers' real only interesting storyline in the comic books was what they did with her and Rogue. That's about it. So you're saying she's best as a comatose patient. She's best as a... She's best when she's aligned with a better character, Rogue, who's... This is so stupid. Hey. What? Sounds like he's playing Taiko Drum Master. Look at this. Look at this. I see you have a Taiko Drum Master near you. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I would like to get me. Oh, I actually played the arcade version. It was actually at my convention last year. Hmm. Played the Evangelion theme. His YouTube. He's in the chat room, actually. Shin, go back to the chat room. Yep, I will too. I'll take Jean Grey and Rogue over. The, look, 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 look. Let me even tell you guys something else. You know who should be named Captain Marvel? Fucking Shazam. That's his na oh, original yeah. name. Yeah, people there forget that. So, yeah. So we're honestly, actually, that's, that Shazam trailer looked more interesting than Captain Marvel. And let's be honest, that's the real Captain Marvel. Hey, so we're chat. actually getting an actual Captain Marvel movie. Hey, I'm in chat. Okay. Shazam. Shin, I'm Shin wants to know your uh, YouTube channel. Tell, uh, just, yeah, say that I'm I'm Magus X One Son. Say that in the chat, so you could get to his channel. Let's see, uh, uh, there's not enough time to select a character. Yeah, they don't give you shit a time, huh? Yeah, because I keep exactly. Up, okay, Shazam. where's this character? Where's that character? Because I wanted to pick uh, Big Al as Bob. Oh, you made a Big Al Bob? Yes. 
Yeah, oh. I did. A like, long time ago. He's no longer going to look like that because he, too, is uh, trying to lose weight. Damn, son. X-Men Rise of the Imperfects was the shit. Remember that game? Oh, you mean Marvel Rise of the Imperfects? No. X-Men Rise of the Imperfects. It was an EA fighting uh, game. No, uh, it was called Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. Hmm. Unless you're talking X. about X-Men The Next Dimension. Oh, no, no, no. You're right. It was Marvel Rise of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a Big Al movie. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Marvel Nemesis. My bad. It's all good. Um, you, we need a movie of the old school YouTube rat community. Uh, that would be devastating. Why? I love this intro. I don't know. Well, well, if we made a movie now, certain people could not be in the movie. Darkstream out of sheer principle. Helsing because he's dead. So, yeah, there you go. So, what's the problem with... Why... Hold on, I want to know something. What is the problem with with Captain Marvel? What's the controversy? Uh, Brie Larson has opened her f mouth and said things like... Well, for example, she was part of this movie called, uh, what was it called? Wrinkle in Time? And it did poorly. And then she, Brie Larson said, well, the movie's not made for old white people. Oh, shit. So, yeah, she's doing one of those things. So, and, of course, bullshit. you know how, yeah, you know how everyone is, uh, will respond kindly. And I heard, it gets better, um, the projections for Captain Marvel have been declining week by week. And Rotten Tomatoes had like a low uh, score of, of, of like audience expectations. You know, they have a score that says um, how many people want to see the movie. Mm -hmm. Well, after after it kept declining, Rotten Tomatoes just miraculously in the new update removed that feature entirely. Huh. It's like they're trying to shell out this movie or something. Also Green the Larson. third trailer, also the latest trailer, which I saw during the Alita movie, was just mm -hmm. straight up cringe. It actually no. did with her. It Rotten did the with her me meme. Okay, hold on real quick. Brie Larson ain't even a good actor and she wants woke bullshit. Me, I'm voting with my wallet. I don't know, but I can think it's more targeted towards little girls. Rotten Tomatoes is a comparison. It's just, okay, I don't know. I, I, I sometimes I wonder if if, uh, if Rotten Tomatoes is a conspiracy site. Um, I don't yeah. know, but I think it's targeted towards. I think it's just. I think it's going to be the first Marvel movie that's not going to do well. Can we agree on that? Like financially, yeah. not well. I could see that happening. Oh boy. You know what? The last night I haven't seen it. Um, I'll tell you though that Bumblebee movie was fantastic though. I need to see that movie. It's it's uh, the best Transformers movie. What? Bumblebee? So I've heard. Night? No, Bumblebee. He he no, Bumblebee. You know Bumblebee? That came out in December. Oh, it did? Yeah. I thought it's called The Last Night. No, Last Night is a no, separate film. That was like a year ago. Yeah. Oh, two years ago. Two years ago at this point. And you know what they're saying? They're going to reboot the Transformers fra franchise based off of the Bumblebee film. Good. Which is good. I wouldn't mind seeing an Optimus Prime movie. Bumblebee 2 starting, starring Big Al. <laughs> oh, man. And you know what's funny is that movie is an 80 movie, but it's... It's not one that's all hipsterish about it. Okay, well, I'm gonna go some videos, so. I'm so ironic with my 80s. No, you're not, man. 80s was a super politically incorrect time. You oh, couldn't the... handle that decade the way you act now. No, no one could. The, the 80s, I, I grew up in the fucking 80s. They were politically incorrect. And let's not also say it wasn't just sunshine and lollipops, people. It was. It was. Cocaine and hookers every day. It was a very capitalistic 
And people, you know, you, you most people who like it are fucking SJWs who are misguided liberals. And I'll be honest, I'm liberal to a degree, but I'm not stupid liberal, as I call it. I don't fake attacks, you know, in Chicago to make a point. You know what I mean? Oh, 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 yes, I went there. Box. I don't give a fuck. It's fucking well, stupid. It's confirmed that he's gu guilty. Yeah, I'm, but like, it makes you think. If he was able to fake that incident, how many other incidents have been faked? Well, we live in a victim society. The victims automatically believe. That's why I didn't buy a lot of the Michael Jackson shit. I buy the R. Kelly stuff because that's there's a lot of there's evidence of it. There's fucking evidence. There's video tape evidence of it. The, but here, the Boondocks did an entire episode about it, actually. He, yeah, but but the Michael Jackson thing, it's there. Why would you go and basically? I don't understand this. Those guys could, they committed perjury if that's what they're saying now. Is that not? Is that not fucking perjury? By saying, oh, he didn't rape me, and then saying a couple years later, a decade later. It's fucking goddamn. Yeah, I, I don't know. They wanted to blemish Michael's image. Look, I don't. I Let's be honest. We can all agree Michael Jackson is a weirdo, right? Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, ah, you yes. got me. <laughs> I saw that kick slowly rising up too. We can agree Michael Jackson is a fucking weirdo, but yeah, but it's funny. I I don't know how to take it. Something's always rubbed me a wrong way about it. Like I always thought Michael Jackson was maybe this. Uh, he might have had some sort of mental condition and was very childlike. Well, I don't think he had a childhood. With the way his career is always, he's been like a he's been like a star since he was like a little kid. He it yeah. probably came with a lot of stress and shit. Look, I get some of those cases, and some of them I'm happy. Like Matt Lauer when he was exposed, I never liked that motherfucker. So I was glad they threw his ass off TV. Who's you Matt know? Lauer again? He was on the Today Show. He was the broadcaster. Oh. Uh. But he was one of the he was one of the first victims, not victims, one of the first guys taken down by Me Too. Damn. Yeah. But here's the thing: just because you're weird does not make you a bad person. You know what I call weird people? Accent. Look, I don't know about my. No one really knows, but I can tell you that I find it funny that now these accusations are coming out. In a society where we live in, in in victim. Now, I'll tell you this. I did watch the documentary, the F Leaving Neverland, and they did go into rather detail. So it's hard to make up those details. But still, there's something that bugs me about it. It seems like it's just... All right, see you, Naruto. It just bugs me. It just bugs the shit out of me. And the dude's dead. Dude's been dead for a decade. He and has been dead. like shit on his grave now. It's kind of fucked up. Uh, I don't make an exception with you, Wario, because Channel Awesome fucking knew knew about those accusations of what happened with them, and they decided to keep it a secret from everybody. About Ju Wario? Yeah. You know, I met Ju Wario once, and he was a douchebag. Remember, really? he's from Colorado Springs. Yeah, we were at Entertainer, and he got pissed because I bought some GBA game before him. And he goes, "Do you know who I am? You're I'm a collector." And I go, "Yeah, I know who you are." And I didn't give a fuck. He didn't do anything to me. But when everyone was, I, I'm look, I'm blunt, and I say it as I see it. When he sh when he put that fucking gun in his mouth and blasted his brains away, I did not feel one ounce of fucking sadness. Was I happy? Probably not, but I'm just saying, I just didn't give a fuck. Did you? No, because I never watched the dude's content, and from what Ace Salieri told me about, he's like a scamming e-beggar anyways. And then, and then everyone channel awesome mourned for the guy, and then after the after they left, and the whole hashtag change the channel movement came up, 
Well, they brought it on themselves. They didn't properly censor his name. Then all of a sudden they backpedal and be like, well, I didn't know the guy that well. Well, that's the case. Well, let, let, let's talk about this for a second. Do you remember last May, last April? I wasn't on YouTube, so, you know, um, to be honest. But do you remember all the controversies that was hitting the gaming world? First, we had the changes of channel shit, which was like six different controversies in one. And then, um, oh, yeah. And then we had the Billy Mitchell shit blow up. Oh. And Billy Mitchell was always a douche, so it was probably cathartic for some to him exposed as a fraud. His channel was all about importing games, importing games. That's. That's all, and I love that stuff. At least we got Sh Kid Shuriken now for that. Yeah, I like Kid Shuriken. He's a good dude. Channel Awesome users went against him when it was... They went against him because there was accusations, dude. Not about politics. Uh, I think a little bit of politics is involved. I mean... These are stuff that have been going on for, like, years. Why talk about it then instead of earlier? Yeah. Well, that's the same, like, with this Michael Jackson shit. He, the dude... Also, think about it. It's the 10th anniversary since he died. Why is this coming out now? What year is it? 2019. What year did he die? 2009. See, this is 2019. 10 years later. Don't you think it's funny that it's coming out now? Yeah. It, it, the timing. Why do they always do this when the timing is the most awkward? You know, Darkstream, I have an idea for Other a Other than exposure reasons. Darkstream, I got an idea. I'll tell you later, though. I'll tell you after the stream. All right. All right, then. Okay. And what would be the point in trying to accuse MJ of stuff when he's no longer with us anyway? Yeah, I, I don't understand that. Okay. Let's see if I can get it. <laughs> yeah, Razor Fist. I'm not a big Razor Fist fan. But, because he's kind of in that same dynamic with the Amazing Atheist, I'm just not fans of either one of those guys. But I should, if someone can tell me what points he makes, that would be great. Because I'm, I'm just, I can't watch Razor Fist, I'm sorry. Same here, man. He just comes off as a dude who just edits his videos with his with thesaurus. You're not going to get a dead man in jail. Exactly. I, I don't. Amazing Atheist is not kind of a douche. He is a douche. <laughs> there you go. Yep. There, there's the big owl costume. Oh, nice. I think you've played this with me before. Yeah, I have. About MJ and then not making sense how the accusations do not coincide with... Re Look, here's the problem with, with w the world we live in now. We live in a world where being the victim is like your king, essentially. I hate to say it. And I'm not saying none of these people. I'm not, I believe a lot of these Me Too accusations are accurate. And in some cases, they do good. Like, for example, the, the R. Kelly shit? Yeah, for sure. Um, also, there was a documentary about Lorena Bobbitt. You guys know who she is, I'm sure, right? Who? Lorena Bobbitt. Uh, the one that cut off her... Is that the one who cut off that woman, uh, that his husband's Johnson or something? Yep, yep. Now, what about I... her? Yeah, they made a doc on her, and it's interesting because... Do you know why she did that? Didn't... Uh, I, why? Okay, so this is this is one case where I think Me Too is good. She was um, she she did it because he used to rape her and used to beat her and do rough stuff to her. 
without against her will. Now, when the incident happened, no one focused on that. Guess what they focused on? Uh, the dick cutting? Yep. So in that case, I think I think it's good. But in a lot of cases, it's like, like Chris Hardwick. I'm not a big Chris Hardwick fan. He kind of gets on my nerves, to be honest. But I'll be honest with you. Last year when he got accused of it, it was angry ex-girlfriend bullshit. And yeah, I was about this to say, man, I, I, I mean, I, I feel the opposite. I like Chris Hardwick's stand-up sometimes. And he doesn't come off as a guy who even has the stones to commit any sexual acts. I just, he's I'm a, not... Go ahead. He just comes off as another wimpy ass nerd. I see he kind of just rubs me the wrong way, and not in the sense that he's like a wife beater or something. More of the sense that he uh, just, I don't know, he just comes across as the too hip nerd trying to be hip. Does that make sense? The not hip enough. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. What yeah. You're talking yeah. About. But I don't hate him though. And that's kind of my argument with the whole thing with that is I don't even really much like Chris Hardwick, but let's put this in perspective. That was angry ex-girlfriend shit. That's the problem with the Me Too movement is that it's a, a it's it's one of those movements that has a noble cause. But I think some people are twisting it and we see it a lot lately, yeah. you know. Yeah, I, I think he's a hipster, Matt Wheaton. It's just, like I said, the Me Too movement isn't a just simple blaming someone and then they rape me type of thing. It's it's beyond that. It's a very complicated thing. Some people are going to manipulate that because everyone believes believes the, uh, the fucking the victim. victim. Exactly. Go back to what we were talking about earlier, the guy who faked his own attack. Everyone believed him. Because we live in a victim society. And now it's like, you guys need to just like, instead of putting your support in, you guys need to say, let's look at the facts more often. And it's funny because a lot of people who defended him, when, when it was exposed that it was a fake attack, they're like, wait, 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 we'll wait to, say, to, to, to see what the facts are. Why couldn't you have said that at the beginning or with any other fucking goddamn any fucking goddamn uh, movement, you know what I mean? Or any accusation. I know, Darkstream, we got Shit. a little political. But that's what happens when I yeah, get I fired up. Oh, fuck. But I think you can agree with me on this. Damn. Oh, boy. Oop. And yeah, I, 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 people enlighten me about the Funimation thing. Fun fact, Magus, I've been subscribed since 2013. You do believe that? 2013 was six years ago. Yeah, it was. Yeah, much. I'm not too keen on Me Too. There are reasons why I said hashtag were even things before op the new stick cunts went and ruined it. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's hard to say because I do believe there is a culture of bullshit in Hollywood. Let's not deny it, right? Oh, it's always been bullshit. How many? I mean, how many actresses had to fuck the executive to get a good role? I'm sure a lot of them have. That that's not uh. even that, but but it is. It is a, it's a big complicated issue and all that. And yeah, the Funimation issue, I really don't know. Me neither. But what the Funimation is... Uh, look, all I know about Vic McNogna is there have been people who've told me that he is a asshole to fans. That's all, that's all I've heard. Yeah, I did hear that he was a prima donna. Yeah. I mean, the main actress in those awful medieval movies is married to the jerk. I think that might be a little different. Uh, I am not looking forward to this fucking Monster Hunter movie that's coming out. Why? 
Same and guy. Don't tell me it's by that a... guy and starring his fucking wife. Wait, and why? The story is already stupid. It's a fucking isekai movie about guys who get transported into the world of Monster Hunter or some <laughs> dumb shit. <laughs> yeah, it, it's awful. I'm not gonna see it. I don't want to see it. I'll just stick to playing Monster Hunter World. That's still a really good game. Okay. I heard Monster Hunter Generations isn't bad. The one on the Switch? Yeah, I'm not going to pick that one up. Or maybe I will, but probably at a cheaper price. Because I've heard about the weird quality of life stuff they added into Monster Hunter World. Like what? Yeah. So you mean to tell me that wasn't a thing before when it should have? Like what? Apparently for tracking monsters, you had to like hit them with a paintball or something? Huh? Instead of instead of using the scout flies, um, sections of the world are broken off with loading screens because it was a 3DS game and shit. Hmm. Monster Hunter is not supposed to be another world story. So dumb. Yeah, I know. Um, Vic Mignogna didn't do anything. He's a nice guy. What's going on? Well, I look, I don't really have an opinion of him myself. He's a pretty good voice actor, I suppose, but that's about it. Um, I don't blindly believe things, and I, all I've heard is people don't like him because he's a prima donna. That's all I've heard. We'll leave it at that, because I have nothing to add, and I'm assuming Darkstream doesn't either. No. I'm going to buy Captain Marvel Barbie doll. Good. Well, go ahead. Speaking of Monster Hunter, any chance of you and Darkstream streaming Monster Hunter World? I don't have Monster Hunter World. You really do need to get that game. Okay. It's... I've never been big into that series, though. Neither have I. This was my gateway. <clears throat> Dive punch. I was a big Monster Hunter World uh, fan, but I played the uh, the the open beta that came out. I was like, mm -hmm. eh, this is actually kind of fun. I like how these feel like feel like really big, tough mon boss battles. Really, final three. We'll call it final three matches. Sure. Okay. Probably have to switch to another character. Okay. The whole m Me Too move. <laughs> Is, you yeah, know, it's, it's not just it's not just me too though. It's anybody. It's any form of activism, and a lot of it's misguided. I mean, the problem with the internet, and I'll say it again, is the internet gives voices to to everyone, but a lot of those people shouldn't have a voice. Why? Because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They just follow what goo, goon number A is gonna say. Letter A, my bad. Goon A is saying. So, that's all I got to say. They do it for publicity and nothing more. Amen. Yep. All right. If you were on the fence with Monster Hunter series, Monster Hunter World will make you a fan in no time. How much is it now? Is it cheap? I have to check. Uh, physically, it's probably cheap. I bought it digitally because of convenience. Ow. Is there any DLC for it that I need to buy or anything? No, uh, all the DLC is cosmetic only. You don't need to buy any of it. There's there's going to be that Iceborne expansion that's coming out. I don't know if that's going to be DLC, most likely. But all the updates they added, all the new monsters like Devil Joe and uh, and Lunastra, that was all free, dude. Okay. Hmm. All the events, all the, the the Street Fighter event, the Devil May Cry event, that was all free. The the Witcher event that just that just came out a couple of weeks ago, where you play as Geralt. Huh. Yeah, that was that was that was interesting. I still need to play a couple a couple more times because there's like alternate endings. Is it me or are we seeing a lot more crossovers with games? And you know what? I'll say it again. I think uh, the Japanese have really come back strong in this generation than they were last gen. And I mean, it's not just the JRPGs, it's all of them. Like, look at what Nintendo is with the Switch selling as much as it does. And, like, even stuff like Tekken 7, you know? Games sold, what, three, four million copies, Darkstream? 
I think it's four million. Oh, what else sold four million? And Soul Calibur Six is a pretty good selling game too, from what I read. Ah, botched it. Hmm. Yeah, Capcom went from pissing us off to actually making games we want. I think the turning point was with Resident Evil 7 a couple years ago. And look at them now. They're, yep. they're really kicking ass. Resident Evil 7, Monster Hunter World. Um, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Me Mega Man 11. Oh, God. Mega Man 11 was a fucking fantastic Don't Make game. Cry 5 looks good. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, too. Yeah, Capcom is 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 getting back to where they were. Giving us an anniversary collection. Yes, I'm gonna call about. it a car. Hold on, I gotta argue with Nightmare. I'm going to call, call it a comeback because RE7 was felt like a Resident Evil game. It didn't feel like that shit that six or five was. It didn't feel like that. Like six tried to be like three different games in once. It tried to be like every more or less. And then Resident Evil Five, that was just an action game. They still fucked yeah. up Dead Rising 4. Yeah, but I did play that, so. <laughs> but no, yeah, they I'm, did outsource that to I'm Capcom. Call... And Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. That was terrible. But yeah, I that... blame mostly Marvel's uh, creative control on that one. They were clearly just making it to push their fucking MCU. It Resident... wasn't like the earlier Marvel vs. Capcom games where they were given a lot more freeform to. Well, hence why we got characters like Blackheart and Shuma Gorath. Exactly, and no X Men, no X Men. That was that was ass. I agree. They're gonna release this. I have the. You know what's funny is I have the Phoenix Wright one, two, and three on my iPhone, and that actually plays good on I the have iPhone. It on three. I have it on three DS. I don't know if I can get into those games. I tried. I like them, but I can understand. Yeah, I think why. I prefer Danganronpa more. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Well, there's a certain level of tensity to Danganronpa, so. That Phoenix Wright isn't. What I'm saying though is, uh, Capcom is back, and I think RE7 was a solid game. And I oh, think it was. Everybody and, loved it. And let's be honest, I think a big turning point too for Capcom, not a big, big one. But a proof of it was when they added... Remember when we wanted an arcade mode for our, for Street Fighter V? What did they do instead? Huh. They gave us like six they arcade, modes. arcade mode. Yeah. They gave us like six arcade... So I think, I think they're doing pretty good. Can a Konami rise... The problem with Konami is their real game wise is ports of their old games. That's all they're really doing. I don't really see anything from them that shows that they're doing... I guess is your internet connection okay? It's yeah, it's, our match is very laggy. It should be fine. It's running fine on my end. Huh. Uh oh. And they do ports of games. I don't know if we can see a comeback from Konami. I don't. Con, the problem with Konami is they're not in financial trouble because of the pachinko machines. Which, let's be fair, Xander actually told me uh, that the Castlevania pachinko machine is pretty fucking awesome. Because, uh, I don't know if you know this, but Xander works... Hey, no, I didn't, actually. Uh, yeah, it says one... Dude. What the hell? Shouldn't be yeah, like that. Yeah, the... Look, like I said, I don't know what's going on with Konami. At least we're getting ports of their games, and that's fine, I suppose, but... The problem is, is they're not in financial trouble. So they can't sell their IPs to other companies, which could be a good or bad thing, let's be honest. But on the yeah, other the hand, way. they're not doing anything. Okay. What do you think of the Konami situation, Darkstream? Do you agree with me, or...? Yeah, I, I, I still think... I don't think Konami can redeem themselves. I mean, most of the key players fucking left because I heard the working conditions were terrible. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, we got Death Stranding because of that. I don't even know if that game's going to be good. I don't even know it, what you do could, in that fucking game. It could be a hit. It could be a hit, or it could be Sony's Homer. 
and Homer is a reference to that Simpsons episode when Homer made that gaudy looking car for his brother that I, made him go that made him that, that just ba basically made him go bankrupt I think What's they two price I think they can thousand dollars I think they can but it will take a long while I think so too Shin says uh, he brought back Bomberman for a new gem with Super Bomb. I thought Super Bomberman R sucked. Really? What'd you hate about it? No, no, I, th I heard it sucked. Which is the one that sucked on the Switch? I think it was Super Bomberman. And uh, another can't problem. Can't be worse than Ag Zero. The other problem, too, is um, they own all the Hudson Soft. IPs too. Let me. Yeah, the yeah, it's been laggy. Super Bomber is now on other systems like PC, Xbox One. I'll look into what Super Bomber Man are. Maybe it's not the one I'm thinking about of, because I know there was one that came out with the Switch and it sucked. Yeah, I, I suppose they're doing something with Bomber. And, I mean, Bomberman is great. I mean, who doesn't like Bomberman? Although, I'll dart him, I'll tell you this. I wish he was an actual fighter and not an assist trophy in Smash. Yeah. Bomber, Bomberman, are, is that the one for Switch? Is, is it as bad as people made it out to be? I said the game was fine. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe people were bashing on it just to get in the height of the... Hashtag for Konami movement. Maybe they're just too here. They couldn't accept a game that might be just fine Hmm, it could be I I don't know I I don't really I'll look into it though Because I want a good Bomberman because I used to have good times playing Bomberman Super Bomberman back in the day Bomberman R was the one that came out on the Switch, but I like the game. People bash on it because it's the same old, same old, and are heated. I I missed uh, fucking uh, Nightman's last post. He was saying something about it. I mean, peop, I mean Angry it was, Joe, uh, people were bashing on it for being more of the same thing. I'm like, um, okay. But that, yeah, but that's why you play Bomberman. What do you want I mean, different Would you rather go back to Bomberman Act Zero? Yeah. Where they try to make Bomberman... And cool and edgy and extreme. Seriously, though, Silent Bomber is amazing. A gritty bomber man done right and mixed with some Contra too. I've never heard of Silent Bomber. Have you? Never, never, not, not, not at all. I'm not a bomber man person, so I would. Oh, oh. Act Zero was stupid. I remember. That was, what, 10 years ago, Act Zero? Yep. Yeah, that was when they tried to make Bomberman into some fucking Gears of War shit. Let's also talk about... Um, so if Bomberman R is the same as any other Bomberman, then what's the problem with it? I don't know. Yeah, there were several people uh, who told me it was a bad game. One person, you could take a guess to who that was. Dark Scream, we won't mention it. But. Uh. Yeah, I'll look into it. Um, what's the difference between Bomberman R and Super Bomberman R, though? Because it's. Unless they're Probably the same additional game. Probably content, my guess. Ooh. I actually, damn. It's the same, but you can also have costumes and characters. See, that sounds cool, Super Bomberman R. Is Super Bomber Bomberman R on the Switch? I get that, definitely, if that's... Because that sounds like a perfect Switch uh, game, Darkstream. It does. It really does. A lot of games sound perfect on the Switch. 
like a fucking exercise machine called Fitness Boxing, which is what I've been using to help lose weight. I've noticed that you play that. Well, tell me more about that. Um, well, obviously, you can't play that thing uh, undocked. It has to be docked, and you have to use the uh, Joy-Cons. Right. Um, the Joy-Cons register the punches. It's basically a rhythm game, but the music sucks. My advice is to lower the in-game music and just get an external player, which is what I do. And that's fine because the game still has enough visual aids to like get you in motion. And you basically throw the, the, the punches uh, according to what they are, like jab, uppercut, hook. But they also add some weird stuff like ducking, swaying, weaving, and even stepping forward and stepping backward, which hmm. is hard to register on a thing that registers on your hand. So I have to like quickly make a jerk whenever I do the movements. Um... And they do have like a daily workout, which is you do your daily workout according to the settings. For me, it's like 30 minutes. Uh, sometimes it will go a little, little over like 35 or 38. And it will tell you what the results are and how many calories you've uh, you've burned on an estimate. So for me, it's like between 500 and 700, depending on how much time is inputted. And I calculate that into a into what what I basically call a food diary. As stupid as that sounds, it is helping me with my weight loss. No, no, that's a good. <laughs> well, no, then it's not stupid. Why is it stupid if it's helping you? I don't right? know. It's just food diary. There's just a guy inside me in my head going, "You have a food diary." But if it's helping you, why is it stupid though? That's. I, I don't think. know. It's not stupid. Then. People, if it's helping people you. Ba people bash people. I, there are people out there who bash other people for bettering themselves. Because they're like, not bettering Ace themselves. Ace Alieri, Ace Alieri's been losing weight, and his detractors are like shitting on him, telling, "Oh, you're gonna relapse soon. You're gonna, you're gonna stay fat." I'm like, "Wow, thanks for the kind words, gentlemen." But well, whatever. It, 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 I, I put that in there. I calculate my daily results, all that stuff. It's. I, I found. I found out about that game because there was a demo f for it on Christmas uh, around the, uh, around December. And. And and I played the demo. I gave it a try, and I said, you know what? I might pick this game up, and it will come out sometime around January fourth. And I've basically been using that at least five days a week. I mean, one, it's helping you obviously, and number two. Yep. If you're using it every day of the week, that says something about it. It's not just a gimmick program or something. If it's actually helping you, then keep doing it, you know? And as for the detractors, they're, you know, most of these are Nick Beer, Nick. And I'm gonna, you know what, Matt Wiegand, you don't have to worry about saying that certain word, because I say it too. Um, fucking Nick Beard cunts that fucking cry about it because they're so goddamn fat, you know? So there you go. Yeah. The Nick Beard cunts, we'll call them that. Oh, shit. Gotcha. This is going to do some bad damage. <laughs> ah, that's going to hurt. Yeah, fuck them beers, yep. especially the anime variety. That cover of Act Zero is very misleading, LOL. It is very misleading. I, mean, I think it's still traditional Bomberman. It's just a terrible redesign that they tried to do. Oh, shit. Like, it's, the gameplay-wise, is still the same. I think. Oh, my goodness. Oh, some game. So let's talk about early Xbox 360 games for a minute, if we're talking about Act Zero. Remember Rumble Roses? Okay. Double X, yeah, that was a terrible game. The first one on PlayStation 2, I actually don't mind. What else was there? Remember a game called The Outfit? Yeah, I, I, I remember it, and I didn't play it, because I heard it got bad reviews. The voice acting was pretty good, though. Had, like, Ron Perlman and shit in it. 
Yeah, he was also in the Torok reboot that didn't do well either. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, it's fucking up my combos. Ugh. All right. I played the demo for the <sighs> outfits. Remember when Xbox had games? Yeah, I remember when it had games. You know, to be fair, I'm not a big fan of the, the Xbox One, I'll be honest. There are a couple things I would like to get, like Killer Instinct and uh, the new Battletoads, if it's well-balanced, I wouldn't mind, but... But but you can still get those on Steam. Like, Cuphead was a great game for the Xbox One, right? Well, yeah. Well, I have that on Steam. Uh, yeah, I have that's that true. Game on Steam. That's a very good point. <laughs> that's a very good point. Very valid point. I, I have uh, Killer Instinct, but apparently I, I, I don't get it from Steam. It probably sucks because the game runs terribly. Even though I have a high-end PC that should be able to handle it. So I don't know what the deal is. I've been Googling left and right, and nobody was giving me shit about uh, anything about it. So, And I tried everything. I lowered all the settings to like the lowest and all that shit. Still can't get it to play full 60 FPS on full screen. Killer Instinct. Oh, so it's a pretty high-end game. No, it shouldn't be. I mean, be, I mean, it, it's pretty high-end, but the, but my but my laptop is younger than that game, and it's meant for some really high-level gaming. Anyways, it's meant to be a gaming laptop, and yet, and it, and and I do have like a spec system thing I run it on um, that tells me whether or not I can play certain games. And it says I could run it, full settings and all, but... Hmm. Well, if only... Mm, if... Nice try. Yeah, I know. If only we can... We can... Hopefully, we can get... You can get it running somehow. Maybe it's something that you're not seeing. Yeah, I'll, tr I'll try to figure it out. Because I do... I, I do want to... Uh, play Killer Instinct. That game is fun. I played a good amount of it. Cuphead. I like to own it. You know what? You know what Xbox ex exclusive is coming to the Switch? Ori in the Blind Forest. Right. Oh, that's nice. By the way, what's up with let's end let's let's do one more match and we'll end the show on this discussion note. What's this that I hear about Xbox Live coming to the Switch? Apparently, they formed a partnership or something, and I've only that Mar Nintendo characters has been showing up on Xbox dashboards. Like uh, Peach and frickin' Marina from Splatoon. Really? I don't know what's going on. They they apparently, they probably have some crossplay deal that's going on. Because the whole... Sony the whole thing. Sony, yeah, the whole Sony thing with Fortnite, apparently that must have gave them big brownie points on both ends. So they decided to, like, I don't know, work together a little bit. Now Banjo could and be I in special. Heard, I even heard some strange rumors, but these are just rumors. I don't know. I, I'm going to wait till I see some official pet. Fucking Scalebound might be on the Switch. I thought Scalebound was dead. Platinum game? Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's why That's why I'm very skeptic on that. Now Banjo... You know, what I w you know what I wouldn't be surprised if we see Killer Instinct back on the Nintendo console. As well as a bunch of other IPs that they lost, like Banjo Kazooie, and who knows, maybe we can actually have. Uh, I wouldn't mind the Xbox arcade version of Perfect Dark for the N64 being yeah? the Switch. I have a feeling Master Chief. I love the hell out of Perfect Dark more than Goldeneye. I have a feeling Master Chief is going to be another Smash game, dude. You know, um, I wouldn't be surprised with this deal, but I will tell you this. I will tell you this, um, I heard Steve from, uh, Minecraft is coming to Smash Brothers, though. Hmm. I heard a Dragon Quest character is coming to Smash. Yeah, I heard that, too. It's not like a full-blown thing, like Speaking all Xbox Dragon Quest, uh, did I tell you I actually got around to finishing Dragon Quest Builders? Finally! It was an interesting game, and one of the boss battles is the main character from the first game that got corrupted to being a bad guy. Okay, so Tevin says, Nintendo and Microsoft are right across the street from each other. It was bound to happen. Yeah. I hope not, fuck Minecraft. 
But Edric from DQ is hinted and might come to... I've heard that, yeah. I actually am going to pick up Dragon Quest XI Definitive Edition on the Switch. I have Dragon Quest XI. I don't know if I should play it now. <laughs> wait. Yeah, I, I should... think I should wait for it. Because I like the new features. Uh, because a lot of people were upset that the 3DS version got canceled for the U.S. release. Oh, please, please, please let me hit you with time. Why, yes. Hold on. Why would you be upset about that? I don't... Because there was an interesting feature that, that the 3DS version had. For the second screen, it actually showed the world map, and it looked like the NES game. But aren't they doing that with and the Switch? Know. Yeah, I know. That's 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 what they're doing now. Is like, that's and I, I think people actually like that feature. I thought that feature was very neat. You know, maybe I should play on PS4 and then go to the Switch version. But here's why: I doubled a lot. You know that. Uh huh. What would one more double dip hurt? You know what I mean? True. But here's the thing, I can't do, well, well, with the exception of the upcoming Trails of Cold Steel, and even then, I'm gonna try to zoom through it. Uh, I can't fucking do New Game Plus on RPGs anymore with the lack of time I have. Yeah. Saw that coming. Yeah, I know you did. I was waiting for you to do something so I could do that. But I think you saw that coming. I played it on PS4, and I'm getting it on Switch 2. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do, Tevin. I'll probably follow your league and uh, play it on the PS4. I'm really curious about how they're going to entice people buying a stream machine while the competitors will still dominate with traditional... With tra I don't see all the comments, so what else does he say? I'm really curious how they even go into and test people buying a stream machine. What the heck? Oh boy. I'm gonna get cold still Sorry, because man. I only played it on PS now. And I hated the voice acting, as all of you know, which we won't get into. But I'm gonna get the PS4 version you know so I can play in wants. Japanese. So. You I don't know, you want to wrap it up here or keep going? No, we'll wrap it up. Oh, I'm waiting on 3 2 night, man. I'm still planning on getting it, even, even if fucking NISA does botch the localization. Which, by the way, I've been playing a good amount of Ease 8, and even though it's the fixed even version, though it's the uh, yeah, it's the fixed version. I didn't see any real weird mishaps or anything, but then again, I am playing the game over a year late, so yeah, I got it a year late, so. I'm I'm yeah. gonna I'm going to play. Yeah, I played Cold Steel on PS now, but I barely played it, and I think at the time I was still going to school. I'm gonna now that I have more time, I'm going to get Cold Steel when it comes out in March. And yeah, it's, don't worry about it, Matt. We and it's over and done with. Just don't do it again. Uh, Yeez Eight had it better than Tokyo Xanadu, at least. I don't know what Tokyo uh, Xanadu. Tokyo Xanadu's localization was pretty ass. Okay, I did so. play that game. I don't know if the EX Plus version on PS... Sorry, I stepped on my own wire. Oh, it's all good. Um, I don't know if the EX Plus version fixed the localization problems, but I still recommend getting the PS4 version over the beta content and all that shit. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to end the stream. This, this stream version should be really cheap. No. EX Plus is better on PS4 is better. It fixes everything. All right, well. Good. It rebalanced it, too. I actually had to use health items in the first couple of dungeons. Never did that in the first game. That's how easy it was on normal. On what game? Uh, Tokyo Xanadu. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to get... I am going to get the... Uh, I'm going to get that version of Trails of Cold Steel, and I'm also going to get... The second game, which is coming out after this, right? Probably the summer, would you say? Yeah, I, I, yeah, probably summer. I want to say, yeah, uh, hopefully it's by the summer. If it comes out after fall, which is what the third game comes out, it's kind of a stupid it's kind move. Of a little wonky thing to do. Yeah, it is a pretty stupid move because people will just be like, eh, I'll hold down the third game until the second game comes out. It's going to hurt sales on their end. Unless XC really hates <laughs> NISA, but some of their own staff is working there to work on the localization. But then again, XSeed 
you know, I heard rumors that one of the head people wanted the uh, the Crossbell art games to be available on PS Vita or whatever, and they kept rejecting. Nah, instead we got Bullet Witch for Steam. That's worth it. That's worth it. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go. And Dark Stream and I have. Yeah. <laughs> Dark Stream and I have Just something to discuss. So. I will w go ahead and say goodbye, Dark Stream. All right, and with that, guys, Magus out.